And we're back to learning mid journey. Let me show you how you can create such an image generation GIF. It's actually quite simple. All that we need is to prompt something. Then I'll add the aspect ratio AR 60 by 9. And then minus minus video. This parameter ensures that the video of the image generation is stored. And here you can see the parameter in the official documentation. Keep in mind it only works on the image grid, so not on the upscales. But all that it takes is minus minus video. And to get the video later on, we'll just have to respond to it with the envelope emoji. Let me get back. The journey takes some time today. Maybe I'll prompt it again, just in case the first one leads to an error. And then I'll speed up this video. And here we are now. We've got our image grid. And we can upscale this just like we're used to. But if you want to have the video, you have to get back to the grid. Click on the three dots, use the envelope. If you can't see it, use add reactions. You can just left click on it or open the drop down here. If you can't find it, click on view more. Then type in envelope, left click on it, and it's going to be added right here. And this ensures that Midjourney, the bot, will send you a direct message right here. It should pop up. And here we can see our video is available via this link. Left click on it. And if you want to save it, right click and then save video as, make it an MP4, confirm. And just to show you that this doesn't work on the upscale one, I'll use the envelope here again. I'll get a direct message, but this is not for video. We'll just get the job seed and the job ID. Now open your video editor, import the video file that we've saved. I'll put it here in the timeline in Premiere Pro. Let me scale it to frame size, but it should be already fitting. And there you go, we've got our video. If you want to isolate one of these image generations, for example, top left, you have to go to your effect controls. Go to window, click on effect controls if you can't see it. Then scale it up to 200. And then reposition it to the right and to the bottom in this case. And then you're good to go. These videos by default have a length of around five seconds on the last Let's say one or two seconds might only be minor adjustments, but this is what you get. I'm going to link to the official documentation as always. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.